Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Payne here. When is the best time to take your blood pressure medication? Is it in the morning or at night? Does it even make a difference? Let's review an article that was published in the European Heart Journal. The data has definitely changed how I counsel my patients. It may change your mind as well. Let's get started. Now, if this is the first time you are watching one of my videos, my goal is to help each and every one of you live an active and healthy lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so we're going to dive into a study looking at whether taking a blood pressure medication in the morning or at night gets better results. But let me say this real quick before we get into the study. The best time to take a blood pressure medication is whenever you best remember, because the most important thing when it comes to taking medications is compliance. And what do I mean by compliance? That just means how often you take your medication and how often you forget to take your medication. That is by far the most important factor in determining what kind of results you will get from your medications. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into what the study reported. This was a multi-center study of 19,000 people in Spain with high blood pressure. They were divided into two groups. Group one took all their blood pressure medications at bedtime, while group two took all their blood pressure medications after waking up in the morning. Presumably, if it doesn't matter when you take your blood pressure medications, we would not see any differences in outcomes between these two groups. So the researchers followed these people for over six years and looked at who ended up having consequences related to high blood pressure. Namely, who ended up with a heart attack, a stroke, heart failure, coronary revascularization, or cardiovascular death. And they found that the people who took their blood pressure medications at bedtime had significantly better control of their blood pressure and subsequently had much less risk of developing major cardiovascular disease events. This is actually quite an amazing finding. If we can decrease a person's risk for a heart attack and a stroke just by switching when a blood pressure pill is taken without any other adjustments to dose, then of course we should make this change and it's an easy change to make. Now, how can we explain this finding? One potential explanation is that the renin angiotensin aldosterone system has its peak activity during sleep. Now, for those people staring at me blankly, the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is an extremely important regulatory system in our body that controls blood pressure, it helps control fluid balance, and it helps regulate electrolytes. And because of this, many first-line blood pressure medications target this system to help lower your blood pressure. A common class of drugs that do this include the angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors, or ACE inhibitors, and examples of these include lisinopril, benazepril, or enalapril. Another common class of drugs that also target the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system is the angiotensin-2 receptor blockers, or ARBs. These include valsartan, losartan, and ulmasartan. All of these medications, when taken at night, seem to help lower bad outcomes related to high blood pressure. In fact, researchers have discovered that nighttime blood pressure may be a significantly better prognostic marker of cardiovascular disease when compared to daytime blood pressure. And by taking your blood pressure medication at night, you are ensuring the medications are doing their best to keep your blood pressure controlled when it matters most. Lastly, we know medications are only one of many treatments to help lower your blood pressure. Daily exercise such as walking is also extremely important. So check out this video next to learn how many steps you should walk per day to stay healthy. Thanks for watching.